Trust your first impression. What do you see in your mind's eye? What do you imagine? the first thing that comes into your mind? Flying. Flying? Mm-hmm. Tell me where you're flying. Above the ground. Mm-hmm. So tell me what do you see on the ground? Green. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What is this green that you see? Fields. Mm -hmm. Water. Water. What else do you see? People. Mm -hmm. What do these people look like? Little. Little people? Tell me more. Pins. What do you see? Little pin people walking. Little pin people? Mm -hmm. Describe these pin people. They don't see flying people. They don't see flying people. Too busy. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Walking. Walking with nowhere to go. Tell me more. Do you understand these pin people? They're lost. Mm -hmm. So why is it that you fly above them? What do you do for these people? I'm free from being a pin, pin person. Mm -hmm. Were you ever a pin person? Never. Mm -hmm. So what is your role here? What do you do as you fly above them? Looking for freedom mm -hmm. or no attachment to Having places to go. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your own body, the one that is flying. What does it look like? Part bird. You're a bird? Part bird. Part bird? Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Describe yourself to me. Lots of color, flever, feathers. Mm -hmm. I have a head. Mm -hmm. Human. A head. human head? Big wings. Mm -hmm. Long feet that are bird feet. Mm -hmm. And your features, do they look totally human or are they bird-like? 
Long nose. The long nose. Mm-hmm. Long hair. Happy. Happy. What does your mouth look like? It's a beak. A beak. And do you have human hair or feathers? Both. Both. Hmm. So tell me more about what you're doing in this sky as you travel. Are you from this place? No. I'm between places. Between places. Not wanting to be in that place below. What is happening in that place below? <sighs> Have you been there before? I recognize it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see it, but no. What emotions do you feel when you look at this place? Bewildered. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. My place flying is free. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out when there was a time when you were not free. I'm going to count from five back to one. When we get to number one, I'll tap your forehead and you will remember when you were not free. Five, going back in time now. Four, three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? I have a chain around my foot. I have a chain around my foot. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Where are you? It's dark. I'm scared. What is this place? I'm alone. Nowhere. It's nowhere. Mm -hmm. Who has put you in this place? A king? Mm hmm. Why has this king put you in this place? I'm wrong. I'm not following orders. You're not following orders? Do you work for the king? No. Mm -hmm. So what orders are you not following? Rules. Mm -hmm. Tell me what rules you have broken. I don't 
speak right. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. What does that mean? I speak freely. I speak. Yeah. You're reverent. I follow different rules. Whose rules do you follow? God. Source. Mm -hmm. So how did you find yourself in this place? You're learning to be free of the sh shackles, mm -hmm. to slip away from there. disappear. Mm -hmm. So let's go farther back to find out before you were in these shackles, before you were chained. Let's see what you were doing that caused the king to put this chain on you. Close the scene and be at that time now. Where are you? What do you see? Green meadows. Mm -hmm. Do you see them below you? I'm on them. On them. Mm -hmm. Running. Free. What does your body look like as you're running free on this meadow? I'm wearing a dress. With. I look simple. Mm -hmm. A simple dress? What do you look like? Happy. Mm -hmm. Plain. Free. I look. What do you look like, your features? Short hair, red. Mm -hmm. Short hair. And how old are you there? 18. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Carol. Carol, let's find out a little bit about you. I'd like for you to close this scene and see where it is that you live. Go to the place where you live now. Stones. Lots of stones. Lots of stones. Small house. A small house. How do you get inside of this house? 
tiny door. A tiny door. Mm -hmm. Let's go inside and see what's inside of this stone house. Stones and simple, simple house. Mm -hmm. Do you live there by yourself, Carol? No. Let's see who lives with you there. Allow yourself to see those that live with you. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Who is Elizabeth? Sister. Mm -hmm. How old is Elizabeth? About the same age. Mm -hmm. So you and Elizabeth live in this stone house? Are there more? Yeah, I can't see them though. Mm -hmm. I feel them. So let's close that scene and see yourself eating a meal with your family. Be there now. Do you see? Bread. Mm -hmm. Big table, big thick table. What is it made out of? Wood. Mm -hmm. What else do you see on the table? Soup bowls. Mm -hmm. What are the soup bowls made out of? Wood. Mm -hmm. And look around the table. Is there anyone sitting with you? No. No. Are you by yourself there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where has everyone gone? They're not there yet. Mm. They're late. What happened? There's a parade. Mm hmm And they're late. What is the parade for? A celebration for the king. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this king? I'm not at the parade, but I'm not sure why. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Was at the was somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, accelerate that scene and see the family. Mother, father. Mm -hmm. Anyone else come by? So can you see those eyes of your mother and father? The eyes are the gateway to the soul. Do you recognize these eyes in anyone in the lifetime of Karen? Do you recognize these souls? Maybe parents that I have. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
Is there anything else that's happening in that scene that's important? Very good, so let's close that scene and now let's move on to a very important time in your life when something happens to impact your life. Be there now. Drowning. Tell me more, what's happening? Seeing all the sinking, seeing. Who is drowning? Me. What's happened to you? Leaving. Mm hmm. Very happy. Did you drown on your own? Yeah. It's beautiful water. Mm hmm. Happy drowning. Mm hmm. So before you leave that body, I'd like for you to go back. So let's find out why you chose to leave that body. What made you leave that body? What happened in that lifetime to make you want to leave? Wrong body. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Did you choose the wrong body? I think so. Mm -hmm. What body should you have chosen? A body that was like the bird. Mm hmm. Fine. So you were not able to fly in that body of this young girl? Yeah, I was wanting to. Too much, too much strife. Mm -hmm. Now you were able to see a scene where you were shackled by the king. Was that the same life? Oh. No. All right. So now let's move over to the, after the drowning, I'd like for you to now continue on your journey after the drowning and tell me what happens when you leave that body. What do you see? What do you experience? God, bodies, mm -hmm. angels. Tell me more about this. Do they greet you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy to see me. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin the conversation and tell me what it is that they say to you when they meet you. You go back. You must learn from that body, that life. 
Mm-hmm. Why did you choose that body? Why did I? Ask them. What did you have to learn? Emotion. Mm -hmm. Learning to change emotion. Mm -hmm. Learning to go back to take with me where I would rather be. Now you wanted to have the body of a bird. You said you chose the wrong body. What do the angels, what does God tell you about that? Was it the wrong choice? to be a part, be coming coming from there, mm -hmm. going into walking with And going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Two places. Tell me about that. What does that mean, two places? It's being in two places where one where I don't want to be but being the other person where I want to be Teaching, learning, learning to bring from one world into the other world. Mm -hmm. What did you want to bring from this angelic realm to this other world? those people to the joy that I felt with those people. Mm -hmm. You were not able to find that in no. that body. No. Mm -hmm. Trying so hard or doing, knowing, but not sure, it's, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. so let's ask these angels that have welcomed you back, if you're going to need to do this again. No, not 
again. Mm-hmm. Have you learned how to bring all of this knowledge into the world with the body? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why is it that she needed to see this lifetime as a bird and see the contrast of the pin people? Why was that? There's no difference. That's no separation. There's no separation. So why is it that this beautiful bird being saw the separation and wanted to be liberated from the shackles of the king? What did that represent? Flying is easy. Mm. And being a pin person? Flying is easier. Mm-hmm. Flying instead of being pinned. Mm-hmm. Pinned to the ground? Yeah. Is that why she called them pin people? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they were pinned and not able to fly. Right. Mm-hmm. And she was punished for being herself, for not following the rules. Yeah, for not... for flying. Mm-hmm. What does the, the king represent in her life? Rules. Mm-hmm. How can she live with rules and still fly? <laughs> Easy, flying around them. Hmm. Is she doing that now? Learning. Mm-hmm. Now she tells me that she was born into a family where she never fit in. Hmm. How does she choose that experience? Pin people learning to fly around them. Mm -hmm. Has she known these pin people before in different lifetimes? Or is she from somewhere else? Somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So is this the first experience for her? with these pin people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why she never felt like the others? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how is it that she chose this family? These relationships? What was she supposed to learn from them?
Suffering. Mm-hmm. What does the suffering help her do? Remain calm. Mm-hmm. Now I know that suffering is a choice. Yeah. Has she learned not to suffer, to remain calm? Or is she still learning? Still learning. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you'd like to tell her about that? Hmm. About suffering? No suffering. Choice. Choice. So she's had to suffer a lot with many relationships, a lot of heartbreak throughout her life. Choice. Mm -hmm. So she has made a choice to be single at this time. She's never really had a long-term partner. Has that been a choice? I guess so. Mm -hmm. Is she looking for someone that's not a pin person? <laughs> someone who'll fly with her? Not looking, but knowing. Knowing. So as you look ahead in the years she has in front of her, do you see someone who will be flying with her? A partner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything she needs to do to prepare for this flight with someone else? Not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Not be afraid. Good. And she says that she wants to know why her dog brought her to Cape Cod. She knows. Mm -hmm. She wants to hear it. What is there? Silence. Mm -hmm. No suffering. Mm -hmm. Another choice? Self can... Just no suffering. No suffering. Very good. How is her dog Nelly? <laughs> Does Nellie have a message for her? No. No. What about Kaya? Hmm. Uh, Kaya says, love everybody. Mm-hmm. All the time. Why did she have to leave when she did? Mm. Was her mission done? Mm -mm. What was the lesson in that? Showing me love. Showing you love. Very good. 
And she wants to be able to understand why every ten years there are energies that are appear at night by her bed. They make her very cold. They give her paralysis, sleep paralysis. Who are these energies? There. There's a thin veil. Into another place. And going there is fearful, mm-hmm. trusting that going there is safe. Mm-hmm. No love there to protect me. So the opening Why does she have this happen to her? Are they coming to her? Or is she opening this up? She's opening this up. For what purpose? To go through there. Hmm. What's on the other side of this? Fine. Ah. So she opens up this portal for her astral body to fly? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. And it only happens every ten years? Or is it more often? That is only 10 years, but (sighs) there's other ways there. Mm -hmm. Has she been there other ways? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when she goes through this portal, she opens up this portal. What is it that's by her that's scaring her? Her. Ah. So she's scaring herself? Yeah. No Mm. love. No love. Why is this part of her that has no love there? Is this another aspect of her? Well. Why does this part of her have no love? I think it's fear. Hmm. Just going through there, not knowing where there is. Hmm. So where there is fear, there is no love. If she was not afraid, she would not feel that fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how can we change that to where she doesn't encounter that again with fear? Can we take her through that today? Yeah. Very good. So allow yourself now to be in that state. I'm going to count from five back to one and you will be at that moment When your body is asleep and your astral body begins to release, I'm going to count from five to one and be at that moment. Five, Hmm. four, three, two, and one. Allow yourself to feel that experience as the veil begins to open. And tell me what you see. (laughs) 
What do you feel? What are you feeling? Just beautiful. Mm. <sighs> Describe this place for me. I don't know. It's there's no strife. There's no... everybody's flying. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? What do their bodies look like when they fly? Like me, like birds mm -hmm. with. Heads. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? What do you see? What's there? <sighs> Allow yourself to fly. <laughs> the more you talk, the better it will be. There are a lot of people that there's no there's no suffering. No suffering. There's it's like that hole is gone. Mm hmm. What fills that hole? <laughs> it's still there. Mm -hmm. It's small. And all the people that are flying and about there. There's just no... There's no worry. Mm -hmm. There's no care. There's no... There's freedom. But there's still... People suffering on the other side of that hole. Mm -hmm. So how can you take now that knowledge of flying and take it back to the one has the body. I, I think it just, that's good. It's, it's kind of like it, you know how you, <laughs> how you put a bag around your hand and pick something up and then you take the bag around and hold whatever's in the bag. Mm -hmm. It's like that. It's almost as if, I don't know if the, the, the bag then that I'm in, which is through the hole, mm -hmm. then completely encapsulates the other place, but it's, they run, they run together. Mm -hmm. They run together, and it, there's not much sense to it. Like, it's like the two places need to be connected. And that's the part of the bag that's like, it's hard to explain because there's no need for there to be a difference in the two places. Maybe the hole opens up and allows everything to, the light to come through it is a better way to say it. Mm -hmm. But there's still a veil separating this world of no suffering, 
this existence of no suffering and the other one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's... There's... You just decide to, to be in the place of no suffering. Mm -hmm. So let's make a decision today. In which world this soul known as Karen wants to live in? That's... Can she take some of that like she would when she picks something up with a bag? Can she take <laughs> some of this no suffering into her world to remind her that it's a choice? Karen does that. Mm -hmm. How can she take this knowledge even further? How can she teach this knowledge to others? By not separating from that world. Mm -hmm. So she needs to live her life as if she were in that world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who can remind her of that? <laughs> Nellie. Very good. So can I ask on Karen's behalf to have Nellie remind her every day? Take walks with her, sit by her side, reminding her that there is no separation. Trusting. Letting something, something put, putting Somewhere that energy is putting itself in. Somewhere something is entering mm -hmm. in her body. Into something is being. A, she's allowing something to enter. All right, let's identify this energy. What is this energy that's entering? Connect with this energy. Very old. Mm -hmm. Why is this energy entering? Oh. Does Karen give permission for this energy to enter? Karen doesn't want it there. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what this energy is. Where is it entering? Where is it now? Stomach. All right. I'm going to take that energy and bring it up. Bring that energy up, 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 up. You there entering her stomach? Who are you? Are you male or female? Male. Male. What is your name, please? John or Jonah. Mm-hmm. When I call you John, does that resonate with you or Jonah? Jonah. Jonah, why are you taking advantage of this body? Because <laughs> I can. Mm. How old are you, Jonah? Centuries. Centuries. Why do you want to be heard today? What information do you have? I keep 
apart from I keep her under me. Mm -hmm. Who are you? I'm vile. Mm -hmm. I'm not from here. Where are you from? I can't tell you. Why is that? Then you might want to get rid of me. Well, I can never get rid of you. You have to go voluntarily, Jonah. That's why we're doing this. Everything is done from love. It is not done by telling you what to do. Because even though you want to keep control of this soul, Karen, I cannot control you. You have free will, do you not? I want to be here. Mm. Why is it that this woman gives you this energy that you want to be here? What is it about her? She's weak enough and in, in, for me. Mm -hmm. For you to do what? Live. Ah. Why do you want to live in this human's body? I'm a Nazi. A Nazi? Jonah? Why are you here? What happened to you? What did they do to you? Tried to kill me. Well, they obviously didn't because we're talking. Who tried to kill you? Relatives. Relatives? Why did these relatives try to kill you? I'm not good and I took over. I tried to kill them. Your relatives? Tried to kill the relatives of Karen. Mm -hmm. Was this in a different lifetime or in this lifetime? Long ago. Long ago. So why have you followed this line, this lineage of family? Karen's open. She is. Well, it seems to me that all you're looking for is a way to justify your actions. To keep doing what you're doing. It works. Mm. What do you get out of this, Jonah? Continuation. Of what? Dark. Dark. So let's find out, Jonah, how you got that dark inside of you. Because you see, Jonah, we all come from the light. In fact, you still have that light within you. But something must have gotten inside of you, Jonah. Look and see inside of your soul what darkness has made you do all of these things. Scan your essence. When did you allow this darkness to enter you? I came from another place. Mm -hmm. Another, another place where darkness is. Mm -hmm. Another planet or galaxy. Or mm -hmm. And this darkness, how does it feel to you? 
home. Feels like home to you? Why didn't you go back home? They don't want me. Ah. Could it be Jonah that you may not have as much darkness as you think? <laughs> Look inside of you, Jonah. I bet you can find that light within you. That light that they don't like. That they don't want you to see. That light is within your heart that's always been there. Hmm. This is the light from the Creator. Although you were in a dark place for a while, you came from the light. Hmm. Look at that light. I have a choice then. Mm -hmm. You can remember who you truly are, Jonah, which is light. Look at that light and make it bigger, and you will remember who you truly are. Who are you? Make that light bigger. Feel that love calling you to the true home. You cannot deny it. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like, Jonah? Light. Mm -hmm. You have a choice to continue the suffering or to go back home to this light. Can you forgive yourself, Jonah, for not knowing this? Mm. Can you forgive yourself for being influenced for so long? I'll try. Thank you. Well, I'm going to bring in some that will help you. I'm going to bring in all of the angels of the light to come and surround you, Jonah. Thank you. What do they tell you? Oh, they tell me that there's many there. They say my sins are forgiven. My I can be. I am no longer stuck. Very good. So I'd like for you now, Jonah, to release all of your essence from her body. Release it all. Yeah. And I'd like for you now to go through the top of her head right here. Archangel Michael mm. is there. He will take you directly home to the true source. Back home to God. Mm. And tell me when you get there, Jonah, what happens. Mm. I see a scroll. Mm -hmm. What does the scroll say? It's golden. Mm -hmm. It says that there's only them. Mm -hmm. There's only the light. Very good. So Jonah, before you leave and go to the light, I'd like for you to pull all of your essence from all of those that you victimized. Send that beautiful light within your own heart to all of those souls as mm. you ask them all for forgiveness. Tell me how that feels to you as you are forgiven. They're glad. Mm -hmm. They're glad that I'm free. Very good. Jonah, may the light and the love of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to step forward and please begin putting that beautiful green light, the light of healing, throughout this entire body. Feel that healing light 
as it flows, seals up all of that space where Jonah was influencing. Let's see if there are any others that are influencing Karen. Take a look at her body. Let me know how the rest of the body looks. It's very long. Mm-hmm. How long is she? As long as a snake. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. Yeah. Is this her? Her spirit is that long? Her soul? What? What is so long as a snake? Who's in there that's as long as a snake? It's Levi. It is. But Jonah are leaving. <laughs> Did Jonah place that snake in there? Hmm. Yeah, it's... It's like... An infants infestation. Mm-hmm. Infestation of snake. Yeah. So go ahead and release that snake. I'd like for you okay. for you to go ahead and send that light from your heart into that snake. Channel that light directly from God into that snake. Tell me what happens. Turns into a bird. Beautiful. Free at last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No longer pinned to this body. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Anything else that has been affecting Karen? think so. Very good. Karen wants to enhance her clairvoyant abilities to be more in touch with healing energies in her work. How can she do that? Was Jonah influencing her at all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was blocked. How does she look now? Better. Better. So what would you like to tell her about her clairvoyant abilities? What can she do? Fast. It's fast. Not eat. Mm -hmm. To not eat. What will the fasting do for her? Clear up energy. Clear up energy. What is it that food does to us that blocks our energy? It's not food. Hmm. It's no longer food. Hmm. It's not pure energy. So the food that we're eating is not pure energy anymore? Yeah. So when we fast, we allow God. 
Mm-hmm. How long does she need to fast for? Five days. Five days. Can she drink anything? Water. Water only? Mm. How often does she need to fast? Often. Often? Like once a month? No. Once. Once. Twice a year. Twice a year, okay. Very good. Anything else that you would like to tell her about enhancing her abilities? She wants to focus on expediting her spiritual progress. Meditate. Meditate? How often does she need to meditate? Every day. Mm -hmm. Is there a certain amount of time that she needs to be in meditation? All day. All day. Now when she does her yoga, her teaching, or any other of her modalities, is this a form of meditation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when she meditates, is she allowing this God energy to go through her? Mm -hmm. Who are the ones that are helping her with her work? Does she have guides or angels? Raphael. Raphael. So Raphael helps her with the healing. Raziel. Oh, Raziel. Very good. Does Raziel have a message today for Karen? Believe. And call my name. Very good. Now she feels that uh, she wants to sleep better. She can't sleep very good. What's going on with her sleep? Fasting will help. Fasting will help, okay. Did Jonah have anything to do with her sleep? Yeah. What was he doing to her? Fearful. She was afraid of the dark. Mm -hmm. So whenever she opened up that portal also? Oh, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Is there any need for her to be afraid of the dark any longer? No. No. Who's with her when she sleeps? Mm. Nellie. Nellie. Very good. Is there anything she needs to know about cleaning up her health? She says she has ears ringing, knees. Mm. Fasting. Fasting. So all of this fasting has to do with the energy blocks that she has from the, from the toxins? Simplification from fasting will open up new, new releases, mm-hmm. new channels, fasting. Fasting will train her to let go. Very good. Now, when we first started off this session, she saw herself as this bird, and she continues to see herself as this bird person. 
Has Karen lived on Earth before? No. No. Where is she from? Show her this place. What does her home look like? No home. No home. Is it a different realm? A different place? It's a different realm. Mm hmm. And in this realm, does she have any type of body? No. No. Very good. And I'd like to ask about something that came into her mind about writing a book. What message did you have to give Karen for me? The world needs to hear the integration of all your insight on without specifics with your intuition about humanity and how the world is changing, how those that need to hear or could hear by reading, it's kind of like when you take a bunch of, th of things and you filter it through and what comes out is the most amazing way for people to understand how to how to change. Mm -hmm. And who will be writing this book with me? Who is guiding me? Time will bring you to that person. Mm -hmm. You will find that person by just seeing them. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to help you with your with that which which you're not feeling time to do. Mm -hmm. Synthesize. It's funny. It's not any different than you telling Karen how to organize her. It's so wonderful because it's not something you have time for. Mm -hmm. You just have to get out of the way and
let yourself be guided. People learn much from YouTube, but sometimes words are easier for people. But it's the it's it's the wisdom that you have that people need to hear that is not involving another person. Mm -hmm. Serious. The world is changing. And, and you need to give it so much more of, of what you are capable or what you can do. It's powerful. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Karen today? Or do you think we're complete? Hmm. What I say to you, I say to Karen, it's no different. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are we complete? Yeah. Thank you. Welcome back. Wow, that's pretty wild. Oh. Hmm. Let's switch these up. Oh. You give me the selenite and I'll give you the shungite. Let's ground you a little bit. How do you feel? Oh. Wow. Like I could stay there longer. <laughs> <laughs> stay there forever? <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. Stay there forever. I think I will. <laughs> well, it's a world of, of no suffering. It's a world of freedom. It's really where you came from. But you've chosen to be here, but you just have to remember that. That it's your choice. Yeah. And Jonah was quite a surprise with his pet snake. Oof. How does your body feel? <laughs> like I'm going to wander about for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Go back in the water or up in the sky a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So this was a pretty intense... Very intense. Does it make sense to you? Oh, yeah. God, you know everything. You just have to listen. Mm-hmm. And you were being stopped, you were being blocked. Yeah. So you know now you have to fast. Yeah. The fasting is very important for you, at least twice a year. Take a week off and just God. release everything. Oh. And it's going to connect you even more. Yeah. So is this something you want to share with others? <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> I guess so. I don't, did I say anything that's going to no, incriminate? No, we could take out anything having to do with family or anything like that, you know? Yeah. There's nothing really yeah. in there. It's your decision. Well, it, it was a beautiful journey. It was. Very beautiful. It was a beautiful journey. It was basically telling wow. you there's the world of no suffering and the veil is very thin. The veil is thin. Right? Wow. It's really our choice. Yeah. And that when you were wow. when you were seeing this feeling, <sighs> this cold presence, it was really you. It was the fearful part of you. Wow. Huge. Amazing, huh? 
you wouldn't you wouldn't know it you would just not know it because you're so blocked from wanting to even you know I think once I did love 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 and it helped but it yeah. it hasn't come back again wow we had, we had a beautiful session beautiful session oh my so word. how was this for you mind blowing <laughs> so you're an angel from heaven <laughs> you're an angel for telling me that so tell me a little bit about um sorry let's just move this camera a little bit there you are there you go so did you expect anything like this I had no idea what to expect and what did and you get I feel freer now than I have. You're gonna fly. You're gonna fly, <laughs> I'm gonna fly everywhere. I'm gonna fly. Yeah. And and um, you you got a different perspective um, about these pin people. That was the name that you were calling these people pin people because they were pinned to the ground. They are pinned to the ground. Did and they look like people or did they look like pins? They looked like pins. Unbelievable. It was it was weird because I was. Do they have legs, or do they have just like pin with pinheads? It was kind of like we're walking around like robots. Really, <laughs> wow, that was amazing, and it was really a, you know, either it was a metaphor, or it was a different realm that you were in that that looked like pin people. We don't know, you know. But I was so glad to not be a pin person. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. So we've lived in all different types of realms, and obviously you were ready you were to. In a, Wow. So right now we are in Boston. And where are you from? Cape Cod. Yeah. And apparently she needs to be in Cape Cod because it's <laughs> nice and quiet. So tell everybody what you do. What uh, kind of work do you do? Well, I'm an acupuncturist and I help. I'm a wellness coach and I teach yoga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a really nice experience. So yeah. how did it feel to be in hypnosis? I was so relaxed. Like, I've never been relaxed before. Mm, nice. And you do meditation. Yeah. And you do yoga. And You're, this was different. This was no different. <laughs> this was, it's like, this is the place that I long to be and why I do what I do. Okay, so you got yourself back in that state. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. And did you prepare for this? Uh... Well, since it's been about a year and a half. Oh my God. <laughs> we have moved Karen all over the place. She was supposed to see me in Miami, right? Yes. And she's now we're in Boston. And now we're in Boston for yeah. the second time. Yes. Um, so, prepared? No, I, I, I guess I did and I didn't. You know, yeah. I've been thinking a lot about this. So, yeah, yeah I looked at you. <laughs> good, good. I watched you. And um, if you would like a session with me, all you have to do is go to my website. Go to the out of town page on the bottom of the page. There is a link to get my newsletter. The newsletter comes out about once a month. And as soon as that newsletter comes out, you have to click on the links for that city where you want to go to. Seconds. Okay, immediately. seconds. Immediately. <laughs> like, don't hesitate. Don't, don't go to the bathroom. Don't get a glass of water. Just click on that link. It will bring you up a calendar of what sessions are available. There's very limited sessions when I go out of town. Um, well, there's very limited sessions because there's a lot of people going to try to get those sessions. So if the date and time are there, you got the session. Okay. So I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching this session. She's wonderful. Until next time. Bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs>